Ladies and gents, welcome back. There is no shortage of creativity in this movement that got its feet off the ground in Canada and has been making ripples across the world. But I want to highlight this one. This is a Dr. Seuss-esque parody of the uh, Grinch that stole Christmas. It's, we have How the Prime Minister Stole Freedom. <laughs> and I'll pop this up on the screen. Amazing creativity here. Written by Derek Smith and illustrated by Kaide Knipe. How the Prime Minister Stole Freedom. And this is a uh, a parody where, you I mean, you could read it to your kids. It's clean. <laughs> and uh, But uh, adults all over would enjoy how this goes. And it's written exactly like you would expect uh, a Dr. Seuss kind of book to be written. <laughs> it's in it's in rhyme. It's in in uh, parable <laughs> of the situation that's been ha happening in Canada that's plagued Canada over the past uh, few years and leading up to the trucker convoy and moving into um, well, where we currently are in this in this very moment. But I'll I'll read you some excerpts from the book. Here's uh, many, this is this is moving past the whole introduction and getting right into the story. And many people were fired or took daily swabs for refusing the vaccine over their jobs. Until one day, the tide started to turn. An assistant approached, looking very concerned. <laughs> of course, this is the prime minister and it's of course Lee, uh it's not it's not specific to any prime minister but uh there's definitely one pretty boy prime minister here with his uh his chinese flag and picture of winnie the pooh if you don't get that reference you, you haven't been on the internet long enough sir the truckers are furious with mandates and rules they claim they were the ones that were are that we are the ones that are fools they say we ignored their requests and their rights and that they will continue to protest no end, with no end in sight. They're driving their trucks here. They've already deployed and some are now calling it a freedom convoy. <laughs> the prime minister sneered and laughed. Deep in his throat, he composed himself and then started to gloat. My dear assistant... Listen to me, these truckers are small, a small fringe minority. We can make them look awful. The people will listen to me. We run this show, for I am science, you see. <laughs> we'll make them look terrible, that they'll turn around and no single protester will be left to be found. From coast to coast, the truckers drove through the snow and their small fringe, minor fringe numbers continued to grow. Then one day, a trucker appeared in the town with thousands behind them for miles around. They filled every street as a big honking team, and the prime minister claimed, I have COVID-19. I really must go. I'm infectious, you see. I'd spend a week <laughs> and spend a week in hide or, um, or under quarantine. <laughs> For days, the Prime Minister hid in his home, but the truckers refused to leave him alone. <laughs> this, is, this is too good. <laughs> I simply don't get it. I don't get it one bit. These truckers won't leave. They continue to sit. They've been blowing bouncy houses and barbecues in the street. Why don't they simply admit defeat? Dance parties, horn honking, and flags flag as flags wave. To and fro, these horrible truckers, they just have to go. And the book goes on and on and on and on. To, oh, this is some of the best stuff right here. When his brain shrunk three more sizes that day. Uh, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. It's it's a fantastic book. And uh, it's, it's, it's great for all the kids and all that. And I really do recommend it. The, the creativity here, the illustrations are on point. And... Uh, <laughs> well, this isn't, this isn't a shill. This is, uh, me genuinely giving my recommendation and, um, it, it is available and on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Of course, I was offered a free book and I turned, I turned it down. I, I, and I just, I purchased it on my own because I, I want to support these kind of things. And I wanted to make this video, put this out there. So you guys can all do the same. Throw some support the way of some creative people out there uh, making great stuff. 
So big shout out to Derek Smith and Kaide Knipe for putting this together and getting it out there. Because, uh, yeah, this is this is what it's all about. It's about having fun and turning turning a really crazy situation into some laughs and have a good time. That's what Canadians are best known for. And <laughs> and here, here we are doing it more and more and more and more all the time every day. So just going to throw that one out there. You guys, link in the description down below. Hit that link. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button. We'll see you in the next video. Keep on tracking.